Before you start listening to this podcast, have you taken the time to stop? Stash the cash. Every weekday on Talk Radio 702 is your chance to win a share of 20 million rand in cash and prizes. Thanks to Empress Alice. Details on 702.co.za or all day on your number one news talk station. Talk Radio 702. 702. Welcome to the world of exclusive podcasts. Your number one news and talk station. Talk Radio 702. 702. With Jenny Cruis Williams on 92.7 and 106 FM. Well, now, we're speaking to Barry Trower, and it is Trower, isn't it? Oh, yes, ma'am. And, uh, Barry, you are a retired British military intelligence scientist, and for years and years and years, you worked in microwave and stealth warfare. What does that actually mean? During the 1950s, and may I say, uh, good afternoon, (laughs) ma'am. Good afternoon. (laughs) During the 1950s and 1960s, during the Cold War, it was realized by accident that microwaves could be used as stealth weapons against uh, the Russians beamed the American embassy during the Cold War and it gave everybody working in the embassy either cancer, breast cancers, leukemias or whatever and it was realized then that low-level microwaves were the perfect stealth weapon to be used on dissident groups around the world because you could make dissident groups sick give them cancer, change their mental outlook on life without them even knowing they were being irradiated and one of my particular tasks I spent 11 years questioning captured spies one of my particular tasks was to learn the particular frequencies of microwaves that they used on which particular victims if i may use that word and what the outcome was <clears throat> excuse me and i built up a dossier I, i'm probably the only person in the world with the complete list, I built up a dossier of what pulse frequencies of microwaves will cause what psychological or physiological damage to a person. That's not under the, covered under the Official Secrets Act or anything like that, is it? To be honest, ma'am, I don't care about the Official Secrets Act. When I see what is going on in the world, uh, through really ignorance, what I call ignorance, uh, I, I think the Official Secret Act goes by the board. They can do with me what they like. Uh, but I feel that it is my task to answer questions from governments, royalty, schools, anybody around the world. I tell them exactly what I know, exactly what I've done, so that governments and, and organizations and people can actually make safe levels. Okay, so so you you did this work for eleven years, but yes, but you've also been involved, obviously, in in stealth warfare, microwave, and your particular expertise was on the impact of uh, this radiation on health and brain functioning. Absolutely, and um, and you debriefed microwave spies and dissidents and things, as you explained to us. So, what are you doing here in South Africa? I was asked to stranded come... Stranded in South Africa, Stranded I might in say. South Africa. Well, not stranded until tomorrow. Uh, there were... Th- th- there's a very young lady who was sitting outside, organized uh, a series of lectures and talks uh, for... Uh, th- there's a little boy not far away with a tumor near a transmitter, and, and I w- was asked to go and see the little boy and discuss what I knew. Uh, His Majesty in Botswana asked me to give a conference or present a conference to his ministers on not only the health issues but the, the, the environmental impact to the animals. Uh, I, I'm doing a public talk this mm. evening for anybody to turn up. Mm. Uh, so it, it's it's really uh, the young lady taking me around. I have a series of interviews, lectures, newspaper articles. Anyone that, that really wants to know will, will just come and ask whatever questions they like to ask. So I, I'm here as a guest in, in, in what I think is, is the most beautiful country in the world, without a shadow of a doubt. And... Uh, uh, I, I'm being taken around and asked questions.
questions which I'm answering. All right, so just remember the lines are open, 8830702. And if someone is erecting, say, a, we're talking cell phone masks, aren't cell we? Cell phone, ordinary cell phone masks and Wi-Fi. Okay, and Wi-Fi in and, your office and... Yeah, and walkabout telephones, anything which emits microwaves. Okay, so if you've got any questions, give us a call on 8830702. And we've got an expert here and he has got information that, uh, that very few people, I dare say, um, are privy to. So what is electromagnetic radiation? Just, just explain, it, it, it's, it's the same thing as microwaves, is that correct? The electromagnetic magnetic spectrum is a band that goes from gamma rays and x-rays at one end, the very high energy waves, and it comes down through visible light, which is also the same radiation, and then it goes through infrared, microwaves, TV, and radio. Now, the, the only ones which really affect us in the communications industry are the microwaves. And microwaves have a special ability to interfere with water, which is how microwave ovens work. Hmm. And we are made of water. All of our chemical and electrical signals involve water in the body somehow, electrical communications in the body. So you, the, the industry has picked the worst possible part of the electromagnetic spectrum to give to young children and to adults. And um, here we're talking about about cell phones, for instance. That's what you're cell talking phones, about. Cell phones, yes, yes, ma'am. So, so, it, France, for instance, um, is saying that that children should not be given mobile phones under the age of 14, for instance. Uh, the European Parliament uh, voted by a large majority to recommend tighter safety standards, and this included <laughs> Wi-Fi and uh, and whatever, but also protecting vulnerable groups like children, pregnant mums as well. Absolutely, ma'am. Um, can I come back to your first point? Yes. Uh, I, I saw quite a large delegation from France a, a few years ago, and not just down to me, but, but they, they obviously took heed of what I said and, and went off and checked a few things. But we know now in France, I have it published, that they are pulling Wi-Fi out of every single French school on health grounds. Now, presumably, they wouldn't have done that had they not known or, or maybe seen the results of, of Wi-Fi, because Wi-Fi has probably been in schools in France for, what, 10 years, or is that an exaggeration? I don't know. Uh, the, the answer is I don't know how long Wi-Fi has been in French schools. I do know that they are spending now 174 million euros uh, rewiring Wi-Fi sets with fiber optic cables or ordinary cables um, because of the risk to the health mainly to young women that the health risk uh, and if you care to ask I'll happily answer the 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 main risk uh, from Wi-Fi is, is, is to young girls and the main risk which we know uh, to children is is to the fetus or the infant but children are much more vulnerable than adults. With this radiation, the smaller you are, the more you absorb. So the main risk is to young girls and the fetus or the infant. And uh, to young girls, are you talking about sterility, for instance? No, ma'am. Uh, it's worse than that, I'm afraid. I don't want to scare your, your listeners, but I believe in the truth. Uh, if I have one of the research, research papers here. I have three research papers. I am a scientific advisor to five organizations, uh, which part of my brief is I read international scientific papers. I retranslate them into a language that most people can understand, which, which which is how I advise. <clears throat> now, to answer your question, ma'am, uh, I have three papers showing that low-level microwaves can interfere with the genetics in the ovarian follicles. Now, what that means in everyday language, different from boys, young girls, when they're born, they will have up to 400 eggs in their ovaries. The microwaves can damage the genetic structure we now know in those ovaries. 
So when this young girl grows up, gets married and has children, if she has a daughter 